Sorry, sorry. Serious interview. Yes. Carry on. Ask me anything you like. <laughs> so, what have you been doing to get ready for Christmas? What have I been doing to get ready for Christmas? Well, of course, buying all the presents, but having to learn all the lines for the show that I'm going to be doing at Winter Wonderland. That's what I'm doing, because most of my Christmas is all about being at Winter Wonderland Event City in Manchester. What will be your favourite thing at Winter Wonderland? Well, of course, my show, the Basil Rush show, but then coming out of the show and going on all the rides. That's what I can't wait for. Under one roof, rides, Santa Claus, reindeers, talking foxes, Basil Brush shows, a pantomime of Cinderella. What more could you want? And, of course, seeing the reaction of the boys and girls as I do my boom booms and get them up on stage and get most of them wet. How long have you been rehearsing for your show? Well, funnily enough, I don't have to rehearse that much for it now because um, it's the same show that I did this year at Glastonbury. Have you heard of Glastonbury? Yes. Of course you have. The huge Glastonbury Festival. So I did my show there, sort of headlining. Uh, just below me was Adele. So um, I had a fantastic time there and I'm going to be reproducing that show with a friend called Mr Matt and that's what we'll be doing here at Winter Wonderland. And what's your favourite thing about Christmas? Um, presents. More presents. And lots more presents. So you're a receiver rather than a giver of presents? Oh, no. I think I'll give a few Christmas jokes, of course. But um, I do like a good present at Christmas. I like unwrapping everything. It doesn't have to be a present in there. I just like to unwrap it and get inside the box and sit there like that. In the box. Looking around for Christmas. In the box. Love it. <laughs> what about Halloween, Basil? What do you think of Halloween? Ah! <laughs> No, I do like a good scare at Christmas, you know, vampires, a good steak. No, Halloween's a lot of fun as well, but I think Christmas is a happy time of year. We're celebrating at Christmas. I love it. Have you got any special outfits for Christmas? You saw you had a Christmas hat on before. Do you have a special suit? Or well, I've got a Santa outfit that I can get. You see, my wardrobe is quite extensive. All you have to do is go to Baby Gap at one of those places. Yeah, it's about 18 months old. They have everything, you know. I can dress up as a train, Santa Claus, you name it at Christmas. 18 months old, no VAT, dead cheap. And um, what have you written on your Christmas list for Santa? Oh, crikey. My Christmas list for Santa. Peace on earth, goodwill to all men, and jelly babies. That's on my list. <laughs> um, I think we've got most. Have you got anything? Basil, what have, what have you been up to then? Just recently, what have you been doing day to day? How have you found coming to Manchester today? Oh, well, I love Manchester. I've got to say, I came here last year at Easter time. I was doing my Easter pantomime, Beauty and the Beast. I was there with Anne Hegarty and um, Keith Chegwin. And we started our tour here, in fact. We were rehearsing in the centre of Manchester. So I love Manchester. I mean, it rains a lot, I've got to say, and gets me brush wet. But apart from that, Manchester's quite a happening place now. The BBC, of course. You know, I'm a legend at the BBC, so I go across there to Media City saying, give us a job! And, uh, you know, they kick me out then, just think I'm vermin. <laughs> but that's all right. They'll want me back one day. They begged for me to come back in 2000. They'll beg for me to come back in 2020. Hopefully. <laughs> Did I get a sign off? Yeah, I don't have a sign off. Can we get you to do, that's Basil Brush for Keys News, and then boom, boom. Okay. Sign off. So, this is Basil Brush for Keys News. Boom, boom! <laughs> They're going to be vocal cords. That's great. Thank you. Thank